Hi, welcome to this episode of Lightboard Lessons, and today we're going to talk about the iQuery protocol. And iQuery is an FI proprietary protocol used for GTM to GTM communication. And so uh, also GTM to big IP communication for the purposes of DNS communication. And so if we look at GTM, uh, which is big IP DNS, uh, but all the underlying scripts and, and command things on, on TMSH or GTM. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to say GTM, even though it is the F5 uh, big IP DNS product. So if you look at uh, GTMs, you have what we'll call a sync group for their ability to communicate to each other. And so this is all a sync group. And so each GTM will communicate to the other GTMs and they exchange information. They, they will share uh, synchronization and metrics amongst themselves. They'll receive config status from, you know, if we go down out of the GTM sync group to, uh, let's say, an LTM. So all of these GTMs will connect via iQuery to LTM as well. So you have your, your mesh here. And so this is all using the iQuery protocol. Okay. And iQuery uses uh, TLS to speak over. And it's, so it's encrypted traffic. And the way that all of these devices um, get there is that you have to go through a progression to establish communication. So when, before you get to the iQuery, you have to use um, port 22 TCP and use SSH and, and SCP to do the, the cert exchange. And that's done with the, the big IP add command. And what Big IP Add does is it exchanges certs between GTMs or GTMs and other Big IP systems. And it does that by it appends the local GTM cert to a remote LTM authenticated certs. And that's done in config big 3D. And that's a client.cert. And then so that installs the local GTM cert on the remote LTM or, or GTM. And then for it takes the remote LTM cert and installs it in its authenticated cert store. And it does that in config GTM server.cert. Okay? And so it builds all these relationships. Once you've exchanged the certificates, then it allows for this iQuery communication between the big 3D daemons running on all of these boxes. And so this is one of the important commands in order to establish uh, the sync group here and then the overall iQuery communication. And one thing I'll say about sync groups uh, before we, we move on uh, to the next command, which is gtm add. Okay? Sync groups, the default name is default. And, and, and that's okay when you're standing up a new system because uh, by, by default, GTM synchronization is disabled. But once you've enabled it, this is really bad. So you want to change the name so that when you bring a new, big, uh, a new GTM online and you, you check that sync box, uh, you could potentially wipe out all of your GTM config. So you always want to have your existing running sync group be a different name than the default. And then also um, NTP is really important. You, you have to make sure your, your timing is all uh, consistent between all, all your GTMs. And, and so this is a full mesh. There's no master-slave relationship with GTMs. They're, they're full mesh. So what the GTM add command does is it installs remote GTM config locally. So very careful with this command. You never want to run this on your existing GTM 
to your new one, or you could, again, wipe out your whole config. So very important to understand that when you stand up a new GTM, this is the command you run on the new box. Um, and you're pulling over that configuration to the new box from the existing boxes. And then the final big uh, important command for, for getting to this mesh relationship is big3d install. big3d underscore install. And these are all command line commands that you run to establish the relationship here. And this will update or install or skip if it's already the most recent, uh, the big 3D daemon on uh, remote big IPs. So if you've upgraded your GTM and you have a new version of the big 3D daemon, the big 3D install will update that version on the remote big IP so that they can communicate appropriately. And so once you get through this, um, you need to add data center and the server objects for each of these to actually start communicating. This is, this is all the setup. And then you, in the config, you need to have your data center object and you need to have your server objects for each of these devices. And then once that's established, then the command you will use going forward to troubleshoot the connectivity is IQ dump. If IQ dump runs and immediately you get a prompt back, something's broken. Either your certs haven't been exchanged properly or there's no you know, connectivity between them. IQ dump is your friend. And uh, you can also use it to watch the messaging that is uh, flowing between GTMs and between a big IP, a big 3D daemon and the GTMs. You'll see that the, all those metrics and uh, config changes uh, or uh, config status changes flowing between them. So, you know, the very high level overview of, of iQuery and what it does. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments on this video or on the DevCentral article. Thank you for joining us. Hit subscribe at the end of this video and we'll see you out there in the community.